Here are the top places to visit in Lebanon. Do stick around until the end to discover the mind-blowing destination at number one. Number nine, the ruins of Biblos. One of the most beautiful places to visit in Lebanon is Biblos. And this is not just because of the breathtaking ruins that tell stories of architectural marvels here. This village located north of the capital Beirut, surrounded by majestic mountains in the background, palm trees, and teal waters that will make you never want to leave. Interestingly, Biblos was derived from books and that's because this village was once a major trade center for papyrus, which was the scroll that was used for writing before the advent of paper. This papyrus was imported from Egypt and was used to distribute the earliest books. Some more interesting things that will definitely catch your fancy in Biblos includes the beautiful ruins that you can explore and then try out some seafood in any of the cafes along the water. Number 8. The Cedars of God if you want to enjoy some amazing scenery in Lebanon, one of the top choices to visit is the Cedars of God, which is just as heavenly as it sounds. Also, considering how popular this place has grown to become, it's not really surprising that the cedar tree is the logo of Lebanon. Cedars of God is a forest that is so amazing that it made the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This spot gives you a unique sight into the beauty of nature and it is the perfect place to go if you're looking for a cool way to spend some alone time. The forest was the spot where some early Christian monks settled and that has given it a touch of historical and religious importance which you shouldn't be afraid to explore when you arrive. Cedars of God is located in the Kadisha Valley and your trip to Lebanon is going to be incomplete without a stop here. Number 7. The Temple of Bacchus the Temple of Bacchus is one of the temples of Baalbek, which is home to breathtaking ancient archaeological monuments that have been preserved since the time of the early Romans. Another such unique temple is the Temple of Jupiter, and they are both located in Baalbek, which is also called the City of the Sun. Of course, visiting any of these temples gives you a chance to admire some of the best architectures in the world firsthand, especially as these grand Roman ruins date back hundreds of years. A local guide can take you through the rudiments of getting around as safely as possible. Without a doubt, one of the finest things you can do in Lebanon is to stop for a while to admire these temples in Baalbek. Number 6. Rauche Pigeon Rocks The Rauche Pigeon Rocks is a natural wonder that will definitely leave you in awe. And this is because its majestic look is complete with rock formations surrounded by the sea. Of course, there are lots of ways to have fun with these rock formations. Plus, it's the perfect spot for a picnic while watching the sunset. Well, little wonder why this is a popular spot and locals love to take walks along the Cornish at various times of the day. Usually, the busiest time around here is during the sunset because the view is simply too magical to miss. Number 5. Jada Grotto Natural formations are always a beauty to behold. However, it may be news to you that the longest stalactite in the world is actually in Lebanon. The location of this marvel is Jeda Grotto, which is a system of two limestone caves located just outside Beirut. This means that it will only take a 30-minute drive to get to Jeda Grotto from Beirut, and you have more than enough time to explore the lower and upper caves here. Apart from being a great tourist destination, the caves are also of immense importance to the locals, especially as the lower caves feature a river that provides fresh water to most of Lebanon. Of course, you can visit this cave by boat for a spooky and yet unforgettable experience. The bright blue waters are fantastic and you can easily explore the upper caves on foot. This is where you'll see the 27-foot tall stalactite, which is the longest in the world. Want to fuel your wanderlust? Subscribe to our channel for weekly travel guides, tips, and inspiration that will take you on a journey around the world. Number 4. Sidon Sea Castle Another easy trip from Beirut is the port city of Sidon, which is located just south of Beirut. Also known as Saida locally, this calm city is famous for its lovely souks and sea castle, which was built by the Crusaders. Indeed, the souks are home to both modern and traditional items in their small stalls, and it's easy to find numerous souvenirs as a pleasant reminder of your trip here. Plus, the Sea Castle is another architectural marvel that will give you a glimpse into Lebanon's rich history. This castle was built as a fortress of the Holy Land, and you can tell that it was built to be impenetrable by looking at it. Number 3. Chateau Xcara For a Middle Eastern country, it can be hard to believe that Lebanon has a booming wine scene. 
However, it is, and its multi-ethnic background is largely responsible for this. So you can include one of the most popular wineries in these parts on your list of places to visit while here. Of course, Chateau Xcada happily welcomes tourists for tastings and tours, and you'll be joining a number of other enthusiastic wine tasters to see what Lebanon has to offer. Feel free to explore the tasty white wines, but you truly shouldn't miss out on the dry roses and Bordeaux-style reds, which are some of the best wines that grow in the Bacaa Valley. Number 2. Beirut The booming nightlife of Beirut makes this city qualify as a huge party scene that you can't miss out on when visiting Lebanon. This absolutely exciting and vibrant city in the Middle East is quite liberal, and you can explore any of the nightclubs and wild beach clubs around. However, there's more to the city than its booming nightlife, because there's a lot more to do in Beirut. For instance, you can visit the National Museum, where the history of this city is well documented, and you can also spend a day at a beach club for unforgettable experiences while here. Number 1. The City of Tyre this important city in southern Lebanon features lots of fine Roman ruins, which has earned it a spot on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Tyre has a great history as a Phoenician city, and you can create pleasant memories of sipping orange juice while walking along the seaside here. Also, do not miss out on the opportunity to take as many photos of this picturesque city as possible. Plus, the city has tons of incredibly friendly people, and you'll find fresh flowers in almost every direction adding a pleasant pop of color to your already lovely day. Click here for more places to visit in the Middle East.